that I want to say about all of this is Bud was not the one who was that instrumental in me joining the church. Brenda was. Her testimony was very strong and she kept after me. But like little sisters often do, I wasn't going to do what my big sister told me. And so after she went off to nursing school, um, then I was unhappy with some things in the Methodist Church and that had brought my attention to that. So I went down to the Catholic Church and all these were within walking distance to the Baptist Church, to the Presbyterian Church and asked if I could have any lessons that they were teaching. And how old were you? I was about 15 too. So, and I was also working after school. And um, so they, um, uh, so anyway, Brenda would say to me, and I remember, well, what if it is true? She said, isn't it worth you trying uh, to find out? What if it is true? You know, and I, I was upset for one thing because she started paying her tithing and she was working very hard to earn some money to go to school. And then the tea thing came in. She would have her afternoon tea and I didn't like tea, but I liked to sit with her and talk to her. So there were some basic things that I didn't like. But anyway, so I finally did. The bishop lived only a few doors from us and I asked my parents if I could take the lessons and they said yes, but not in the home. So I sat outside under the tree and then um, the bishop had us at his home. Um, so Bud and I did continue to date and we lived four houses down the street from yeah, us. Yes, the bishop did, just happened to live. We were set up for sure. But anyway, so then Bud did come over and we did date and um, Wait, can I pause you? Yes. Mommy, where did you take your lessons? At his house. At Bud's house, right? Yeah, every yeah. one of them. And dinners and stuff, too. You had, like... I don't think I was invited to dinner every time, but I did eat there. Okay. Go ahead, Aunt Diana. Okay. Thank you. So we would go over to his house a lot, too, but I didn't take my lessons there. And it was a beautiful home. It was right on the river, wasn't it? Yes. Uh, St. James. Yeah. Right. And he had a spider monkey outside in a cage. It was warm enough to keep him there. And I can't remember his name now, but I always enjoyed going to see the monkey. And he got a little red and white Corvette and he would come to school and bring me home. I was a senior and he, um, he was trying to work out some things for his dad's business. And um, he'd have meetings sometimes with different companies. Um, they had a radiator business, drumming up meetings for them. And, and I would go to church and he'd be there. Um, I don't remember him taking me to church a lot, but I had a little car that John fixed up and I'd go and do that. So he'd come to my house and you could hear his car coming. But at first, I didn't want anything to do with one of my sister's boyfriends. And so when I'd hear him coming, and I was walking home from church, and he knew when I was coming, I'd hide in a bush so he could just go on by. So anyway, it worked out somehow, and I don't remember how. So one <laughs> night, um, uh, he was coming, and we had a date, and he was late. And I stood on the porch, and then I sat on the porch, and then I was mad at him, of course. So I went to bed, and... Uh, the next morning, my mom came in very oh. early. It was sunlight, and they had called her. Ugh. And she was crying, and she told me that he had died and um, that he was involved in an automobile accident. He was going too fast, and she, he ran she into heard a train. On the 11 o'clock news. No, that they, night. yeah, and they called her too. Somebody, one of the Copelands called her. And um, so he had asked me to marry him. I had not told anybody that, but he had. And apparently he had told his folks because they knew that. But I did tell him that I was thinking of going to nursing school and that, you know, that I would marry him, but not right then. I needed to get a little more education behind me. But anyway, so um, they treated me so well. And I remember it was, um, I remember compiling a little book with poems and stuff 
and pictures of he and I. Um, it was like a scrapbook thing. And then I gave that to his mother. And she had a picture done of me. It was one of my high school pictures, but she put on the bottom that that we were engaged, so I knew that she knew. And then they gave me a little blue Corbair, um, a brand new one that they wanted me to take when I went to school. So I used to go out to his grave a lot and I really missed him. Um, and I used to feel good when I was there. So. I don't know how you heard. I know it wasn't me. I ran down the street Mom to the bishops. Mom called me that night. I ran down to the bishops because he knew us both well. And still had my pajamas on running down the street, banging on their door. Um, but there wasn't really any comfort to be found. Yeah. And but so, there he is now. Oh, yeah, I'm sure that he is are... busy. It's down the road now, except the whole thing was so traumatic that it's just kind of hard to tell it, even now. Except we are his mission. He yeah. didn't get a go, right. but he converted us, oh. and we have stayed strong throughout our lives. And, um, and we have children that are good and strong LDS, so we are Bud Copeland's mission. And I'm sure he's been on more. Probably many more. I hope but so. Anyway, his family, I mean, they stayed so close to me. His mother sent my baby's first baby crib. And, yeah, and um, they stayed close to me. So, yeah. Mommy, you were married to Daddy. Yes. And when did you guys come and meet? The next Christmas. Oh, oh the, the Christmas before. Yeah, Bud the Christmas died. before he died. Okay, right. and Aunt Diana... Yes, he did. April the 14th of 1960. Isn't that weird? Okay, we that's when he died. That's when he died. Guy. And he when did you, nice ha, what was your baptism like, Aunt Diana? Um, it was much the same as what Brenda described. Uh, the bishop took me and his wife, and we went to the stake center. We, and there, we became pretty close with that bishop. He and his wife were just yeah, wonderful to break. us. Yeah. Well, what was his name? Fox, B-O-X-X -X -X was their last <laughs> name. name. And he, he gave me my scriptures. He gave me a nice set of leather scriptures at all. I was baptized in. Yeah, and it was the same. We went to the stake center. I don't remember who was witnesses, but I remember he and his wife were there. And my parents consented to that. How, so I, how old were you? I was 16 when I joined. So mommy kind of set that she, up, she that it was okay. It she definitely set it up. Mm. She would not leave me alone, but I didn't tell her either that I got baptized. And the following Christmas, of course, you know, it, it, following Christmas, I sent her a copy of my baptismal certificate. That Christmas, no, we came home. Did you come home? You okay. had it under the tree. Okay, in a, okay, in a in card, a, in probably. A, right? Yeah. And, and, um, and that's when and that's Daddy, when you were with Daddy. Daddy. That's, that's right. when that's he met. So you were 16. Didn't no, until met. then. You were 16. That's cool. So she really was instrumental, but I wasn't doing what my big sister told me. And that's how it all, and I didn't. I did it because my own testimony, and it's very right. strong. That's very that's obvious right. through the we years. Very strong. <laughs> I got an answer to a prayer that's like would knock you over. I believe you. When I asked, <laughs> you know. Okay, and so what? When were you baptized? I was baptized in. It was. Do you remember in, the date? It was in November too. I believe it was the twenty sixth. I don't remember the the year. year. Okay. Well, you were Maybe sixty. Maybe sixty one something like that. Okay. Yeah. Oh, wait, you got baptized not after Bud died. Oh, you're right. I was baptized before. I don't remember then. I don't. He died in 60 and probably a year before that, in 59. Maybe. Okay. I was baptized in 57. Okay. Yeah. And so he and I were both right. graduating I in need 58. to go look that up, don't I? But I forget. Okay, thank you. I love you. I love you, too. Now, Thank I you wanna, for telling wanna, me about Bud. I want to finish this. Okay. Of the influences in my life, 
the friends that Bud and I were. Nothing out of the way ever even started to take place. He was always very good with me and um, and he has influenced my whole life and my eternity and I'm grateful for that and I easy can see this as his mission. He was a handsome man, I'll tell you. That. Oh, he, well, he is a handsome man. <laughs> I have a picture of him, do you? I do have a picture. Oh. I took one with me, actually, after we I was married. And Ron made me throw it away. <laughs> he didn't want me carrying that, the 8x10 oh. picture of a former oh, 8x10. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I carried a big one. <laughs> I never had a I'll, big I'll one. send you pictures of him. I, I've just got one. Yeah. Okay, say bye. 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 Thank you. Thank you, bud. Hi. Yeah, thanks, bud.